Good afternoon, everybody. Happy Sunday. Hope everybody's having a good time. Good day, relaxing, spending time with family, whatever, you know. Whatever it is, I hope it's not with the negative bullshit. It's always a good time when we get out of that. Let's talk about the quickening here. That's number five. That's going to be south and red. You can never really teach a warrior about the unknown with words. You must use experience. But if you look into the eyes of a woman of power, you may catch up with her a little. She has years of truth ahead of you. However, her eyes can quicken you like a river heading towards the rapids. Open yourself with love, not, not with understanding. You cannot love with your mind. Listen from your heart. If a camel is walking down a path and another camel passes him, the first camel will go faster to keep up. This is how power works. Don't learn everything with your mind. Quicken your spirit by letting go of attachments and move to a stronger vibration of power. Uh, I think this is something that's going on in the collective right now because a lot of us are doing this. <laughs> um, kind of coincides with another video. I did, My first video I did, I, I posted it. Um, so... Right now, a lot of people are waking up to their spirituality, intuition. That's 23. That's another five. And it says, from the left side of your body comes your female energy, whether you are man or a woman. Within this femaleness, this feminine consciousness lives your intuition. Intuition is the intelligence of your body and mind. Feel what is true with your body mind rather than knowing what is true with your mind. Intuition does not have the clouds of accumulated knowledge to distort your vision. Intuition simply sees what is the truth. With intuition, you can feel the source of your being without reasoning it away and being filled with doubt. Doubt destroys your intuition. Your power always lies in a balance between mind and intuition. Okay, so... Really what I think this is talking about right here, uh, guys, what, uh, for me personally, um, I've been kind of like, I've been stuck in a place of the dark night of the soul. I don't know if anybody knows what that is. I, uh, am also on the twin flame journey. I've been through a whole hell of a lot and experience. Yes, it brings knowledge, but knowledge does cloud your intuition and, I think that this is saying, like, again, we need to focus on ourselves. If you are on the twin flame journey, I know that it's really hard. It sucks. Like, when I was in separation, it almost felt like my soul was gone. I I couldn't even come out of the room. I couldn't eat. I cried all the time. But it also caused this awakening within me. And I'm hoping that... I can help others to get to that point. So with that being said, um, this is just a real short video. Again, let's start focusing on ourselves and find the beauty within ourselves because until you learn to be unapologetically you and love you for who you are, you can't be in a twin flame union. You can't have your spiritual gifts come to you. You can't have the life you want. You can't manifest anything because you are looking from a place of fear instead of believing in yourself, knowing you're worthy, knowing you are a divine being and it's within all of us. Don't let the negative negativity get to you. Start feeling it out with your body. You'll know who and what is for you. Not everything is for everybody and not everybody is for everybody. So... With that being said, shine on beautiful and have a good rest of your day. Sorry, I'm still getting better at talking, but it'll come naturally. I've been in a creative rut and I'm hoping with persistence, I will get out of it. See you guys later.